previously on Surviving Sliptopia. I uh, wanted to show you guys my cactus farm. So um, I'm pretty happy with it. I've been working on it, just kind of making it, you know, refining the, the, the idea. And The first part of what I'm going to call the crown is uh, kind of completed, and I made it out of poop. I mean, dirt. What is up the world? It is your friendly neighborhood Slipgator here, and you know, I bet you were expecting some sort of big reveal video. Some sort of like... No, that's not... Oops, he's messaging me. Hello, Zuljin. I thought you were expecting some sort of massive, you know, dubstep reveal video where all the stuff and things are done, and you're like, that was amazing! But you know what? That's not what we're doing. <laughs> So um, I thought we'd just hang out today and I'd actually show you guys kind of some of the building process of what I've been doing. Um, and other than that, I don't think we'll just talk about stuff and things. I don't really have a topic, but I have you, I have me, I have my mouth hole. So that means that we can talk about stuff and things. So what we're doing now is taking down the scaffolding. Um, and you can see I've already done that on the other three peaks of the crown over there. So, um, and what I've done is one block back from each piece of the glowstone, I've placed a piece of cobblestone. I did it with cobble so that I could differentiate between the, um, the dirt and the cobble easily. And I have to be really careful with the shovel, actually. Um, the shovel is so powerful. Mr. Shovel is so amazingly powerful that it will smash through glowstone pretty, 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 pretty quickly. <clears throat> Pardonnez-moi. So, we gotta take out all this stuff. And then the reason that I'm taking the scaffolding down is because if any of you guys have worked with water before, um, and I've worked with it quite a bit in my career in Minecraft, um, it can be it can be a cruel, cruel master. It can be uh, really hard to, to work with. So what I'm trying to do is make sure that once I start placing the water, that there's no obstruction. There's nothing for to obstruct it. Emergency mute. Uh, and there's no obstru <laughs> obstruction. Um, so when it falls, it falls the way it's going to fall. And we don't have to worry about going up and moving source blocks. Because I, I envision, I imagine, that that will happen anyway. Even though I'm taking these precautions, I'm probably going to have to go around and mess around with stuff and things. So to get everything to fall the correct way. Um, so now we have, we're going to leave all of this these ladder pieces up but we have doesn't it kind of look like suspension bridges so we have all of our suspension bridges completed but um oh uh, and i think it's going to be interesting as well to try to place all of the water um to see what kind of like how it falls and stuff and then we'll probably end up having to go back um and fill in some bits because there's places where like if i place water here it may not reach there may be a space so we might have to go back around and kind of monkey around with it um, and, and stuff and things like that. So yeah, I hope you guys are having a good Friday. Weekend mode engage. You guys are, uh, hopefully some of you are off. Unlike myself. Well, no wait, I'm off. I'm off too. Um, so you have to understand that I record, I'm kind of, you know, it's time travel for me. It's not, <laughs> it isn't Friday for me. Don't tell anybody. I'm breaking the fourth wall. But um, I'm actually off on this weekend as well, so that's pretty cool. It means that I get to be domestic. I don't know. I mean, we might, we'll probably go to Home Depot, you know? We might go get, we might go to Starbucks, get a coffee. Well, I don't drink coffee, but uh, get a tea. I'm a teetotaler. So, uh, oh, it looks like a suspension bridge for sure. Um, ugh, eh. So, um,. So yeah, but we're we're doing some really domestic stuff at that at the house. Houses also, by the way, are expensive. Ridiculous. Do you know how much curtains cost? This is what is what's happening in the world where curtains cost like two hundred dollars. Oh my gosh, hundreds of dollars. So, but it's cool. It's really nice. If you guys, um, if you're new or whatever, I, I just recently me and my uh, my girlfriend, the previously on girl, we bought. Um, a townhome and uh, it's pretty great so yeah and in Minecraft 
Um, I'm really excited to kind of see how this, I would love to, thank you. I'm really excited to kind of see how this is going to play out. I'm, I really don't know. Um, but I, I feel like I'm taking the precautions necessary to like un screw myself like to so that I'm the least screwed as possible um, in regards to how this is going to work um, and so I have over here this piece of cobble but no I have um, these 16 buckets let's put some of this dirt away I'm going to keep a little bit of it but I'm not going to make water sources up there so I'm just going to have to come and kind of fall down and oh i thought that was a creeper right there like a giant one i was like god zero creeper <laughs> so um oh that does look kind of like i mean uh, not really but um all right so this is gonna be it we're gonna place our first water under cover of night and uh i don't know let's see what happens i bet it's completely basically kind of like a oh okay yeah oh 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 it's working! Actually, wait, that's gonna make a big space. Isn't it? Let's go off the let's go off the edge here. Oh no, it didn't. Oh, it's like working out. It's super working out. Oh, look at it. Oh, it's gonna be rad. I'm I'm getting more excited now. I think that this is working out much better than I had planned. Is there an airspace inside? There are some places where there are airspaces inside. So, but you can't see it from the outside. So it doesn't, I mean, where, who are, are you? You want to go shovel? Well, how, you, well, how, how do you have an enchanted shovel? Kiai! What, did I get the shovel? Efficiency two with like no durability. What have you been doing with your shovel so that it has no durability, Mr. Mr. Zombie? All right, let's get up. Let's get up. So let's get up and then um, I think we should be able to kind of fall down to the next level here where we need to place our next buckets. Um, I'm excited that that kind of worked out. That worked out way better than I had anticipated. I'm really, I'm really excited that I totally used my smart brain. So if we go here, oh, oh, look at that. And we want to, oh, oh, look at that. See, that's what I was kind of worried about. Some of these places are going to be a little bit odd, but I wonder if I can... Yeah, yeah, look at that. Okay, okay. So, let's go here. And here. See, and then some of these times what I'll do, kind of even this out. We'll go like that. Like there. And then that comes in one. See, all right, so here's where we're kind of going to run into a little bit of, uh, of a concern. So if we place this guy here. So now we have like a, like a hole where we have no waters. So let's do another source block here. And is this all like, see, it's not completely even. So, that's it. so that makes it okay. So another source block there, and I feel like one needs to be like here-ish. If I do that, see, this is what, see, this is the cruel master. This is what water or the cruel master does. So if you mess up, oh no, really? Oh no, oh no. Uh, so if I mess up at all, it kind of means like everything has to come down. Um, because if it connects, the flowing water connects anywhere to a source along the way, it's not going to, it's not going to, it won't dissipate, it won't flow away, so, so how far up the chain do I have to go? I thought I had another source block here somewhere, is there one right here? Alright, there's not one there. So how far up this chain must I go? Oh my gosh, you're serious? I'm gonna have to like... Oh no. In order to fix that one thing. Oh no. Do I have to... Where is the last block? Is it ever... Do I have to remove all of the water? 
We might have to remove all of the water to fix the one block. Hmm. So that makes it a little bit trickier. Um, gosh, I almost wish I'd built this with redstone so I could turn the water on and off. Um, let's take this guy down and then see that should remove a seriously large portion of all of the water. Um, so basically I think what I got, so the, 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 the arcs are pretty much like complete. Like, so when the, when the, ar the arcs are up, when I drop the water, it drops really well. So I'm really pleased with how that's worked out. Um, it's down in this area that I have to kind of be more careful. So I'll probably have to build another piece of scaffolding there, um, in order to, in order to kind of make it flow correctly. So let's see here. Is everybody going down now? Wouldn't that be rad if it was on redstone? Don't say it. Ian, don't tell me I should do that. So, cause I, I know I should. So. Um, all right, so I think what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to go ahead and start playing around with this a little bit more, kind of get an idea of how I want it to flow, build the scaffolding on all of the bits, and then we'll get the water up, and that should be a crown completed. So I think we're ready. I think that I'm confident we are ready to do the water placement. So what I've done now is everything seemed to place fairly well coming all the way down. Um, even if I remember correctly, even here, I was able to place, I think, water in a way. We'll see if this is a problem or not. We'll have to start again again. But, um, so what I did is just build like a little walkway here where the water can, where I can place water. So I think that we should be okay. So, and I want to start from the top and place on the way down. Um, yeah, like I was saying, water is a fickle master. Like it's... It's crazy, and it's mostly just because that if flowing water touches a source in any part of its line, that it'll continue to flow, and that can just be just crazy, a crazy problem sometimes. So if we come down, should be good down till here, and then we got that guy, brings us down to there, that guy. This is like parkour water placement. Eh, it's not, it's not that parkour-y. So, and just making sure that everything, yeah, there's no like gaps or anything like that. Oh yeah, and I wanted to, I think that we had done this in a couple instances to make the wall come out a little bit more. Yeah, like that. So then here, and we're good with that. So here actually, no, that's a big problem. That is a big problem right there. Can I make this jump? Yes, I can. Oh gosh, darn it all the heck. So that's gonna be like a problemo. Um, I guess we could... I want the flowy of the flow to be good. So I'd like for it to come out further this way more. Oh, oh, let's not do that. So let's just, for gigs, go like one of these, one of them, one of them. And... Should that, is that gonna be, no, 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 it's not. Wait, uh, what I'm trying to do, what I'm looking at right here is this kind of the line and how it's gonna flow. So I think it would be better actually if this was one lower. Right there, one, two, uh, I don't know. And I fell, that's good. So, oh yeah, right here too, we gotta get something going right there. So there's a couple of spots where Oh, that comes in. Yeah, so like right here, um, we'd want another block right inside of there. Um, so let's take a look at it from back a ways just to kind of get the idea. I think that it's pretty close. I think that we're pretty close. So I think it's going to be good. Um, so at this point, I am going to. I'm going to go ahead and cut away. I'm going to place the rest of this water and... Um, Make sure I get all the little stuff and things like evened out and get the walls kind of evened out the way I want. And then we'll be back and we'll have a crown, I think. I hope. If I never climb another ladder again, it'll be too soon. So, all right. I uh, finished up getting all the scaffolding done. And I thought that, uh, first of all, I would say, I think I said in the video it's Friday and weekend mode engage and all that. Yeah, it's, it's not. It's Thursday. I lied. You were confused. You thought that I didn't know. And I didn't for a minute because of time travel. 
Um, so I figured we'd leave the last piece of the scaffolding up here in the big reveal. Oh, I think it looks pretty cool. I haven't really taken a look at it. I've been trying not to look. <laughs> so, got all the scaffolding done. And I'm fairly confident that it's, like, all completely symmetrical as well, which... It's kind of odd because it's a little bit of, it was a little bit of a soft build as far as like the geometry was kind of you know it wasn't complete right angles or anything like that it was a little bit in my head so looks pretty cool let's take a look let's come out here look at this thing looks cool um so let's go outside and kind of see we'll have to build the door a door there obviously oh when you're out there it just kind of looks like a chain of glowstone. That's kind of cool. Let's take a look back here and see kind of what it looks like. So if somebody, when somebody logs in or something, let, let's do the big reveal. It's not, I want to look now. I want to look, but I'm not going to look. Oh, cactus farm working perfectly. Midnight designer said I should do a tutorial on it. I might do that. I might do a tutorial on that cactus farm. Um, what up pig face? Are you in the water now? Are you upset? Is it really, are you peeved off? So... I don't want to get attacked by this pig face. All right, is there another one? Anyway, the big reveal, you come out of the portal and, oh, it looks cool. So neat, neat, it looks, definitely looks pretty cool. Um, yeah, let's, I just want to walk around it. So now we have to do like something on the inside that equally as rad as what's on the outside. So we'll have a big like open doorway right here and you won't get, you won't have to walk through, and then you come inside. And I think it turned out great. Like, I'm really kind of super psyched about it. Um, and I think it was good that I scaled it back. Like, originally I was thinking about going like 50 high with it, and I don't know, I just think it's a good size. That's what she said. So anyway, um, yeah, yeah. So I think that i um, a little confused as to what day it is because I've done so many videos today, first of all. So I apologize for that, guys. Um, I'm just, you know, it's just the way it is. I'm just crazy. I'm doing videos. Um, but I got to check the time here. Oh, it looks cool. I got to check the time and, uh, yeah, on the video and then um, we'll be right back. So I was just boating around, admiring the crown, and um, I found something pretty cool. I found something out that was pretty neat. Um, so I was boating and then I was like, I wonder what'll happen if I like kind of try to skip off the edge here. So let me see if I can get lined up really good. And then if we hit, oh, oh hold on. Let me see if I, I'm just going to go right. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. I hit, uh, I hit some glowstone, but it, I went like almost all the way up to the top before and then came out of it. It was pretty fun. It was pretty fun. So, oh man, we got to get. Where are we? Why are we not inside of the of the crown? And uh, also there were some mobs playing around outside and it makes it pretty hard for any mobs to get in here, which is cool because with the new, the way that zombies work and how they just like appear out of nowhere and stuff and they track you from like 57 million blocks away. It's kind of nice to have that, that uh, the little shield. So, um, but yeah, so I think that's gonna be it for today. A little bit shorter video. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. I hope that you like the crown. If you like the video and you like the build, Please don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. It really is helpful for me. Every thumbs up is a super thumbs up. Um, I appreciate it. And, uh, you know, share and, and favorite the video as you see fit. Don't spam it on Reddit. And let's check the gold farm. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day.